What happened to the good old days? I don't know, you would know if I know, cause I'd say so. I've been living in them since 1989, dear thousand. Come on! What happened to the good old days? She said, you would know if I know, cause I'd say, say so. I've been living in them since forever. Alright, I'm Brian Sumner, and this is just a trick tips video. Basically, myself and a bunch of friends out skating, doing tricks the way we do them. And it's designed to learn you kids the tricks. In learning them though, what you need to know is that the way we do them isn't the only way. We're just giving you the basic technique. When you go out and the way you put your foot, the way you turn your waist, the way you turn your hips, all that sort of stuff, it's personal. And you want to take our techniques and go out and do what feels comfortable for you. And that's how you really learn the trick. That's it. Good morning, you skate kids who are weird enough to buy Sumner's trick tip video. Most common question in skateboarding, how the hell do you do that? What? The ollie? Yeah, the ollie. The ollie, one of the most important street tricks. You want to ollie up curbs, over hydrants, use the same technique in a kickflip, you're going to ollie onto rails one day, you know. And this trick, when you're learning it, learn it up a curb, down a curb, learn it every different way so you can really get your timing down in skateboarding. That's it. Back foot is on the middle of the tail, front foot in the middle of the board. Tap your tail 
And with your front foot, you slide it up the grip tape. These two together create a friction, and the board comes up. Bring your back foot up to meet the front foot and level the board out. Keep your weight over your board and tuck your knees up. And it's all like one fluid motion. Push the ollie and keep your feet over the ball. Use your arms to balance yourself. Ollie higher, hit the tail harder and pull the legs up faster. Sometimes tap the tail and push the ollie forward. Your feet are over the ball, bring your legs down, land all four wheels and roll away. Hit the tail and scrape the front foot. Jump. There's a balance above the board. Feet above the bolts. Four wheels on the ground, land and roll away. So land all that and it'll be ollie in everywhere. Front side 180 ollies, really learn to use your shoulders and weight. Light up just like an ollie. Have your shoulders facing the opposite direction as you're going to go. When you ollie, swing them around and throw your weight. As you jump, push your body out so you're over your board. Throw your waist and your shoulders and turn the board. Level the board out around 90 degrees. Keep turning the waist, put your front foot down and guide the board around with your back foot. For backside 180s, you want to wind up the opposite of frontside 180s. Roll up and just throw your weight backside. As you ollie, push backwards and you're probably going to be looking down. Stay above it and keep turning your shoulders and hips. Point the front foot and guide it with the back foot. Stay over it, finish the rotation, and ride away. Don't be thinking you can ollie bins and stuff like that straight away because it takes a long time. Like you got, you got to practice ollie in loads before you can uh, be jumping over houses and things. You know, defying gravity like the uh, the masters. The best bet is just to practice as much as possible. You should be wearing zero shirts and audio shoes and uh, you should purchase those at Active and then your backside 180s will just be amazing. You, it's, it's just like that. Acid dropped. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Go for it. Go. <laughs> okay. How to do an acid drop? I don't know because I've never fucking done one before. <laughs> Brian, you don't have this one, huh? <laughs> Jesus Christ! Ah, come on, go. I've never done one before. <laughs> Just roll off it. Woo! Because what I did was, I jumped on the board, and I just dropped off the ledge, and then I landed it. <laughs> right up to your curb, and you're gonna ollie. Lock in and sort of balance, keep cruising, pop off the end. Manual is on the back truck. Keep the tail and front truck off the ground. Stay above it and use your arms and legs for balance. Nose manual is the same thing but on the front truck. For this trick, it's only about balance. Kickflip is just like an ollie, the only difference is the foot positioning. Have your heel hanging off the side of the board. 
You want to use your toes now, and you want to flip them up towards the nose. As your back foot comes up and your front foot's out, you want to be right above the board. Your back foot comes up, you're kind of crouched in the air, the board's flipping up to your feet. Your back foot will catch the ball when it flips around, extend your legs, land on all four wheels and roll away. Back side 180 kick flip. Roll up like a back side 180 ollie with your front foot in a kick flip position. So you're gonna hit the tail, scrape the front foot, think the kick flip to 90 degrees. Turn your body around 90, stay over it and catch it with your back foot. Think back side 180 ollie, two motions in one. Get it on your feet and turn your waist. Extend your legs and put it down. Right away, like it's a backside 180. Well, the way I do frontside flips, my front foot, like you're gonna do a kick flip, and you put your back foot on the corner of the tail. Pop the tail. Flick out, nice and rapid, with your toe. Everyone does this trick differently. I just throw my weight and kick my foot down and jump around with it. Make it one motion. You flick out, lean back kind of thing at first. And the board flips and goes in front of you. When you're about halfway around at like 90 degrees, try to catch it in the air and turn it the rest of the way. Catch the board on your back foot. Have both feet on, over the bolts, extend your legs, bend your knees, and right away. On a frontside flip, if you lean back too much, you'll never catch up with your board again. So when you do it, you got to pretty much try to keep your balance and your weight over your front foot. And that way, when it comes around, you'll be right on top of your board again. Fuck a hard flip too, that's the dumbest trick. <laughs> so many kids ask me about the hard flip, yeah, and the hard flip is the lamest trick. It looks stupid. There's like four people in the whole world who do them good. <laughs> and most of them, yeah, most of them are crap. It doesn't even, it's not even a fun trick. Where do you use a hard flip? Whatever. <laughs> Hard flips and minging, they don't look good and they're not cool, but every kid thinks they're cool. For 50-50s and 5-0 grinds, you really want to learn to stay on the obstacle. It's pretty easy getting into the tricks, but the important thing is standing up straight so your weight is right on the part of the truck or trucks that you need to grind along on. For 5-0 grinds, you really want to learn manuals so you have your balance down. You want to roll the ledge parallel and the last minute carve into it with your foot in the ollie position. Ollie straight on top with your feet flat and over the bolt. 
By standing up straight, the weight is over your heels and it keeps the trucks in position. Use your arms and knees for balance. Push down on the tail and ride off. Bend your knees and roll away. For a backside grind, you want to ride parallel to the object. As you ollie, aim your trucks at it and land right on top. So frontside 50-50, you're ollie and on, and your weight's already on your heels, you're already this side, it's easier. Backside, you put an ollie on and adjust your weight to get it into the same sort of position. So you want to kind of shift the ollie, point the front foot slightly and just lean back so you don't slip off. You're kind of going to lean on your back foot. And just straighten the front foot. Just lock the trucks in and stand up. Use your arm for balance. Just come out like a front side one. Five oh grind. Go directly next to it. Ollie up right before you get on. Push down like you're gonna get into a manual. Land so all the weight goes on your back foot on the edge of the obstacle. Your back foot is flat over the bolt to hold your truck in place. Straighten the back foot out and balance it with the front foot. Stay on top and grind. Just ride or ollie off. Swing your hips and one eighty up. For a backside five o grind, just roll up and think backside grind. Only when you ollie, straighten out your back foot and land in the backside five o. Stand up straight and stay above it. The weight's on the back foot. Control it with the front foot. Just ride right off the end. Or swing your hips and turn out. For heel flips, you just want to hang your toe off your board a little bit, up by the bolt. Hang it off about to the ball of your foot. For your back foot, you want it on the opposite corner of the tail, so just your toe on the, the back corner of the tail. Right after you pop, you want to slide your foot up and then to the side a little bit, like off the board. All I think about is jumping straight up and kick the heel down and out mainly. Just think of it as a kick flip but with your heel and on the other side of your board. If you bend over too much when you try to do the heel flip, your board's going to end up behind you and you might just land on it with your heels. But if you keep your head back and uh, keep your you know, your body straight over your board, then uh, it'll land right underneath you again. Just stay over it and have your feet above the ball. Back foot on, front foot on, land and roll away.
Okay, hopefully you've seen people do heel flips and backside 180 ollies in this video already. So if you have seen that, you basically um, try and combine the both into one movement. Try and heel flip like a 90 degree angle backside. Maybe put your front foot a little bit lower on your board, a little bit more towards the middle of your board, and uh, still have it hanging off about to the ball of your foot. And then uh, you want your back foot a little bit even more on the corner of the tail to help you get the 180 out of it. Catch you in my back foot. Swing the rest round like you would a uh, natural backside 180 ollie. Land fakey, aka backwards and ride away clean. Frontside 180 heel flip, roll up with your back foot on the tail like frontside 180 ollie. Have your front foot just like a heel flip. Hit the tail and as you start to jump, heel flip. As you're turning, heel flip out and stay above the board. Watch it flip and bring your feet back over it. You want to have them over the ball. Catch it 90 and keep turning it. Extend your leg down to the ground and right away. For a board side, just right at it with your feet in the ollie position. First learn it on like a small flat bar or a small block. And then you all kind of like a 90 degree onto it. Make sure your front truck is over what you're alling onto. When the middle of your board's over it, straight out your legs. And lean forward or back, according to like the stickiness of the rim. over it. Your arms, knees, and how you stand will help your balance. Use your shoulders and hips too. To come off forward, push down on the tail and contain your waist. To come off fakey, push down on the nose and contain your waist. Front side board slides, you want all the parallel, but the last minute you want to kind of turn in. Make sure you ollie up high enough, turn the waist 90, and straighten out your legs. Once you get on, you want to look over your shoulders. You also keep your back straight and kind of turn your chest forward. Stay over it and use your arms for balance. When you're going to come out, ease on the back foot and turn the front foot. Turn your waist and shoulders and roll away. Come out fakey. Push down on the nose and turn the back foot. All four wheels and roll away. Front side lip slides. Basically this is a board slide but you're ollieing over into it. You want to ollie from further away and make sure it's high enough to avoid hitting on the way up. Ollie and swing your waist to turn the board 90 degrees. When you're over it with your feet on the bolts, put the middle of the board on the obstacle. Stay right on top, face forward and slide. Use your arms for balance and to come out just push down on the tail and turn out like a board slide. To come off fakey, push down on the nose and swing around another 90. Backside lip slides, it's a frontside board slide, but you're all in over into it. Ride up the same angle as a frontside lip slide, but backside. Your front foot's a bit further back than a backside grind, your back foot's in the middle of the tail. What you want to do is ollie into a frontside board slide, but on top of the rail. Point the front foot 
guide it with the back. It's like a shifty ollie, but you're just turning your waist. Look over your shoulder like you do with the front side board slide. Feet over the bolts, straighten out your legs and stand up. Use your arms to balance yourself. Turn your waist, shoulders and push down the tail to come off forward. Do the same, but swing it like a backside 180 to come off flaky. Go up to the back of the bumper and throw the front and ride it back <laughs> I'm going to explain the no slide. You're going to cruise up to the ledge at a parallel angle. This is where I Do a 90 degree ollie. No one should ever feel the way Straighten out your front foot to lock you into the block. Once you're on, throw your weight into it. You use your front foot to push yourself through it. Lean back a little bit if it's necessary. Use your arms for balance. Your back foot helps to keep the board in position. Use your front foot and back foot to slide off and come out at another 90 degree angle. Push in with the front foot and twist your shoulders and waist to come out fakey. And this is about as social as I get now. Okay, basically if you want to do a front side another side, you like roll up to the ledge with your body facing the ledge. Do like half of a back 180. Point your nose in a no side position. And just point your front foot and just stick it in there. Just feel it out, slide it with it. Your body will be turned, you'll be sliding in front side nose position. Have your back foot guide it. And just kind of scoop it out, like hop out. Go on fakie, use shoulders, hips, and turn with your back foot. For a tail side, you're going to roll to the leg parallel. You're going to ollie up, turn 90. Straight away, transfer your weight to your back foot by throwing your waist like a front side 180. Get in with your tail. Use your back foot to push through. Stand up and point your foot to slide. Push on the tail and swing your hips to come out. To come out fakey, point the back foot and swing your hips. Turn 90 and roll away. Okay, back to the tail slide. Bad parallel. Put the last second, carve in an ollie and turn your legs 90 and put your back foot right on top of the block. Put your front foot, stand up straight and have your chest facing forward. You want to point the toes of your back foot into the ledge so you can hold this position. You press all your weight onto your tail, but kind of center your back foot so it doesn't stick it too much. Kind of light foot too, put the front foot. Stand up straight. This will create pressure on your back foot and you'll slide. To come out, turn your waist and shoulders in the opposite direction. Or slide the tail more and turn out like a backside 180.
for a crooked grind. It's the same situation as a no slide. You're gonna go at it parallel with the leg. Place your feet just like an ollie. Straighten your front leg and just push it into the obstacle. Lock in, push yourself through just like a no slide. Have your back foot cocked and just drive it right through the obstacle. Once you're grinding far enough, push out with your front foot, lift up, nolly out, kind of. Frontside crook is kind of like different. It's kind of like a frontside nose slide. So, ollie up, point your front truck in like a quick ground position. And then with the back foot, you want to kind of turn it into a frontside nose slide after you get on. Point it in there and just sit on top of it with your body out in front of you. That way, it'll like, it'll force it to grind. The key to this is like popping into a nose grind and then putting a lot more pressure on, on your front foot. Bone it out and have your back foot guide it. And when you pop out, same thing like a front side nose, just hop out. Like after you learn front side crooks, you know, you could just like step it up, the nollie front crook. Front side nose grinds are my favorite tricks. You want to roll up like a 50-50. Only ollie into a nose manual on the edge of the block. So you want to aim your front truck into the nose grind position by straightening out your front leg and pushing down into the block. Get into a position where the wheel and truck are locked into the obstacle. Balance yourself, drive it through the obstacle. Use your back foot to balance it out. Straighten out your front foot and kind of nolly off, stay over the bolts, and roll away. Or just pivot on the front foot and turn it 180. Okay, backside nose grind. This trick you really want to get on top. Roll up like a backside grind. Ollie into a nose manual on the corner of the obstacle. Get the front truck on straight. Get on top, put pressure over the front foot. Bend the rear leg to hold the position. Now just do a nose manual. Push down on the nose and hop off. Man, crooks is the dumbest word, too. I'm going to vow from now on to say crooked grind every time instead of crooks, even though it's much easier to say crooks. Okay, feebles and smiths. The thing with this trick, you know, learn the basic foot position and technique, but the real thing is learning to lock it in a position where you grind along. Getting into this trick, these tricks, isn't that difficult. It's learning to move the weight along the obstacle and take it somewhere. Because this type of trick, the position of the truck, you're going to stick. So you want to really pay attention to your shoulders, your waist, where you throw your weight. Pretty much go into the trick and just throw it forward. Get right on top, stand there and push it. That's it. When you're doing a feeble, just don't, uh, don't do what Arto did in the flip video. You want to go at it kind of like you're going to do a board slide, but you want to go into it more. Ollie on, aim the back truck, point the front foot. Push the back foot into it, lock it in, stay on top. Balance out your weight and hold the position.
Yourself. Now come off, push down the tail and hop out. We're going to face you like that. Smith grunts. Basically, you want to just pull up to the ledge like you're going to do a five out. Ollie up, as soon as you feel your back truck hit the corner of the ledge, point that front foot down. And lean back a little bit to push it through. Grind that as far as you can. When you feel it coming to the end of the ledge, just lean back a little bit more, lift up the front truck so your board's level with the ground right away. Alright, backside Smiths. You ride up parallel to the rail. You pop your tail, you get in, you land on your back truck. You gotta keep a lot of pressure on your back foot. Push it. Kind of like a uh, like a mini ramp, like you're skating a ramp kind of to stay on the inside. Tweak it. As much as your front foot sticks out, you're, you're kind of leaning. Stick your, your shoulders back, and that uh, that gives your Smith a good a good styley look. Cause you're like you're back on it, you're sitting on it as it as it cooks across the coping. Point your foot out and hold it down. Poke it all the way through the grind. You just press on your tail a little bit to come off. Definitely one of the most stylish tricks and you want to be able to do that in order to impress the girls, so. All right, a lot of people ask me about frontside feebles because I've been doing them for a long time. And then what I tell them is to think about a regular feeble, which most people can do already, and reverse it. But it's about the weight, and that's the main thing. People go up at it and they're, a lot of people transfer over into backside smiths when they're learning them. Or they just can't even get into it. They go to front board a lot. The thing I think about all the time is when you're doing a regular feeble, your weight's on this side and you're, and you're putting, you're sticking your foot straight out on this side and you're kind of balancing in the middle of that. And the front side feeble is pretty much the opposite. Your weight is on the other side and the, the key is in extending your front foot far enough out to where you're balanced in the middle. So this, the middle of the whole trick is sort of the same as on a, fee, on a regular feeble, but it's on the other side. You ollie in, you dip it down, stick your back chuck on there, and you use a lot of weight on your back foot. And you gotta be light on your front foot, otherwise you'll just stick and uh, fly forward. The main thing people do wrong when you try a front side feeble is your heel hits the rail and you fall back, you get pitched to your back. So when you ollie up on it, you want your back foot to push the truck so you tweak it up a little bit. It makes your front foot go up a little bit and like doesn't hit the rail anymore so you just grind. As you're about to come off the rail, you want to use your back foot, like your toe, and kind of push the board more up so it's not tweaking and then kind of lift up your right foot and you just kind of come off. Okay, blunts. This trick isn't as safe as like a nose slide or a grind or something because you're on one foot and if you don't get on, you're gonna probably slam pretty bad on the edge of the obstacle. So it's important to go learn it on a curb or somewhere safe so you get used to the position because you can go either way and you will slam hard. Blunt slides. Ride parallel next to it. Ollie up. Turn your body 90 degrees. Land your back wheels on top of the ledge with your tail on the corner. Push all your weight down onto the tail and stand up straight. Bend your front foot to hold the board in position. Just stand up and use your arms for balance. And just let it slide. When you feel yourself coming to the end of the ledge, turn back the 90 degrees you came from. Or push down on the tail and kind of fake yolly out. 
For a frontside blunt slide, you're going to roll up as if you're doing a frontside board slide. But you're going to ollie higher so you can get over it more to allow you to put the tail into it. Nose bunts, you're gonna go at the ledge, ollie up, turn a 90, get into a nose bunt, dig your nose in. Straighten out the front leg, pushing the front foot into the corner of the obstacle. Use your back foot to control the angle of the board. For me, it's just about jumping on top of whatever you're jumping onto. And if you think about it that way, it makes it sort of safe. Because if you lean at that trick, coming from the side, the tendency is to slip out and fall to your hip on whatever is below you, stairs or the asphalt. Push down with the front foot and turning your waist, nollie off. Swing your hips around and roll away fakey. Backside nose blunt, you're going to ollie up, point the front foot into the obstacle, get it in there straight and throw your weight behind you. Pin your shoulders in towards the ground and use your back foot to control the board. Stay on top and push down with the front foot and hop out. Turn your waist, have your feet over the bolts, and roll away. Yeah, I just say with backside nose blunts, you really want to learn to just all you up and get right on top, and you totally pose the trick. And you throw your weight this way and just slide along. And the motion of coming off, it's just like a fast snap out, like you're just sliding and suddenly like, okay, hop out. And you have to get used to the way your shoulders are, because it's hard to, to be turned like this and stay above it because you tend to slide out or fly this way. So get that down. It's basically the pose technique and then you'll do it. Okay, to do a front side 180 nose grind, you're going to front side 180 ollie onto the front truck. And you're going to keep swinging your body around and kind of pivot on the front truck, which will eventually turn fully 180. Hello. Straighten out your front foot and stay above it. Your back foot will be bent and will guide it. Then it's just a switch by low. Stay on top of it and ride out. Or turn your weight to come off forward. Your backs are one of your nose grinds. You're just going to backs are one of your ollie onto the front truck. Ollie 90 degrees, and when your front truck's over it, push your front foot into the obstacle. Put the pressure on your front foot and use your back foot to guide it. Stay over it and keep turning your hips so you go fully 180. Just ride right off the edge. Salad grind, just put a front blunt and a 5 0 together. So, all you up just like a front blunt, but get the truck on like a 5 0. Have the back foot 
push the truck into position so it's kind of crooked. Stand up straight, hold the pose. And you can pretty much just think of it as a 5 volt. Balance it with your arms and you grind right along. Top off and all the way. Pop shove, it's for me, it's all about your back foot. You gotta have your back foot right on the sweet spot of the, the corner of your tail. I place my front foot in between an ollie and a kick flip. It's just gonna guide the board around. And right when your tail hits, you gotta pull your foot back a little bit. Just scoop the board around. Get used to throwing it around and figure out how much you have to kick it to get it to do a perfect 180. As the ball spins around, just stay above it and put your front foot on. Put your back foot on, then it's just like landing an ollie. With the 360 kick flips, it's a combination of your front foot and your back foot. They really gotta work together good. You want your back foot on the corner of your tail, like you're gonna do a pop shove it and you want your front foot maybe a little bit off to the side more than when you do a normal kick flip. And uh, it helps to have it lower on your board too, like back a little bit more towards the middle of your board. Use the toe of your back foot to really push it around. Also flick it with the toe of your front foot. You gotta just get good at doing the 360 shove it part with your back foot and getting just enough flip with your front foot. Motion is as if you're riding a bike or doing a flying kick. You know, if you're doing it and it's spinning around too far, that means you're kicking it too much with your back foot. And if, you're, if it's spinning around fine but it's flipping too many times, that means you're flipping it too much with your front foot. So you gotta figure out how much to do of each to make it work. And once you get that just right, you know, then uh, it'll start landing underneath you again. Everyone throws it around with their back foot, but some people catch it with their front foot and then they put their back foot on after. And some people get their back foot on first and wrap it the rest of the way. If you lean back too far, you're just gonna land on it with your front foot only and your back foot's gonna be behind you. Your board will never land right underneath you until you stand right over your front foot. There's a few tricks that help with uh, frontside 360s. The one thing that helps a lot is to hang your front foot off the board, kind of like you're going to do a heel flip. You want your foot down lower towards the middle of your board. The more you can uh, wrap it around, it helps get it higher off the ground. If you started with your foot up by the front truck, you're not going to be able to get it very high off the ground before you start spinning. But if you put your front foot back a little further, you get to ollie and bring it up off the ground a little bit before you start turning it or leveling it out. As soon as you ollie and start to turn it around, you gotta point your toe of your front foot to get it to wrap around. If you don't do that, it's just gonna travel and go away from you. Like if you lean back and start to spin, you never actually get in front of the board and it just keeps traveling away. You almost gotta do a front side 180 as fast as you can in the air and have it all the way around 180 before you start coming back down. And the rest of it, is just following through and getting that last 180 on your way down. That's, that's the best way I can explain it. You just gotta do your 180, like the first front side 180 on your way up and then wrap it for the rest on your way back down. Okay, front side 360 ollies, the best advice would just be to watch Jeremy do them. And land them, you probably wanna land them off something because it's really difficult to spin them. So wind up with your shoulders and hips enough to be able to throw your body around 360. Do the 180 as high and as quick as you can. Point the front foot down and bring the back foot up so the board kind of tweaks and spins around easier. Then just bring your hips and shoulders around, land and uh, 
Roll away. Backside 360 Ollie. You need your back foot over the tail more to scoop it. Your front foot just like a backside 180. Le learning the trick, it helps to get the pivot a little bit. Or try it off a curb. Make sure you wind up enough. Okay, I roll straight and I turn my body like this. And when I, when I ollie, all I do is my whole body's turned and when I ollie, I just spin like... <laughs> Swing your waist and do a kind of vertical ollie. And at the same time, scoop it with the back foot. As it levels out, dip the front foot. And as you bring the back foot up, you should be almost all the way around. So just throw your body all the way around and stay over it. See here in slow-mo, you are now watching Willy Santos doing the 360 ollie the improper way. You are now watching Jeremy Klein do the 360 ollie off the blue jump ramp the proper way. Notice the fluid 360 motion. Notice the perfect landing. Yeah, it's a little sketchy, but he went all <laughs> yeah. he went all the way around. Skate for fun. Watch this video and learn how to skate because it's good. When you're 45, you're going to be skating to the store or doing slappies. You're sick of doing the same old shit and you just want to slash a curve, push a fret. Just ride right into it, carve and smash the trucks on there. So you want to slam your trucks right into it get the back chuck on the back chuck's the key to get get the backside slappies on i don't do it that way i okay, actually do do i kind of just kind of gently go I on right? gently go on to it oh. as you get on top we'll straighten out the legs and grind when i do front side slappies i think of it when you do a four wheel slide you do that but you're doing it up the curve Slam it right into it. What's your explanation to this front side sloppy? I just go and slam into the curb. Alright. Let's see what you got. Okay, here's a curb. Here's a curb right here. That's a curb. So we're riding right here, and then you force it, like, just slap it in. Like. So, that's what you should do. Just go full speed towards the curb. And slam into it. Slam into it. Like, but if you want to do it like a pussy, which is Willie's way, you pretend like you're doing a four wheel slide. Do yourself a four wheel slide and go up onto the curb. But if you do it my way, you just go full speed and slam into the curb. <laughs> you can do it. It's up to you. You're a few years old. I spent them waiting here for you Now you're